First at five, um, we want to start by giving you an idea of just how rapidly this Delta variant is spreading through not just Ohio, but really through our country. And I don't think anything does that better than this map. What you're looking at here is the U.S. spread map. Right now, it is between 85 and 90 percent red. That means high transmission just about wherever you go. Now, luckily here in Ohio, we're faring better than most other states with most of our counties in orange. That means, though, substantial transmission, Betsy. Okay, but keep in mind, this is not a sign that we can just ease up here. In the last 24 hours, another 1,666 COVID cases were reported across the state. 107 people were hospitalized, and all of these key metrics are above the 21 day average. Yeah, now our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us now. Monica, Governor DeWine did something today that he hasn't done in over a month, and that's address the public with a news conference. He talked a lot, as he has, about the vaccines and the Delta variant, especially how it's impacting our young people. Yeah, and you know, we really don't want to see this become a habit again. No, you know, this is we like we like the governor, but we like the governor, yeah. but this is a flashback to something we, we would rather forget. The governor wanted to update us, though, on the state of Delta in Ohio, and it isn't good. Basically, it is spreading like wildfire and the unvaccinated most at risk. Currently, about 98 percent of people in the hospital are unvaccinated. The uh, of the people who are have COVID rather of the total hospitalizations of COVID-19 patients since January 1st, 18,367 individuals were not fully vaccinated. Just 295 patients had received the vaccine. Now the state will begin updating that statistic each Thursday. Last week, the American Academy of Pediatrics reported Delta increased COVID cases in kids by 85% and those under 12 rely on the vaccinated for protection. We talk about choice, free choice. When we talk about free will, when we talk about everyone making their own decision, we do have some Ohioans who can simply to not be vaccinated and I think that's something that we need to keep in mind. We do have young ones among us who it's our collective responsibility to protect. Dr. Vanderhoff went on to say how important it is to keep the tried and true safety measures in place, meaning masking, social distancing, hand washing, and better ventilation indoors, especially for kids who can't be vaccinated. Now, there is some good news. The governor said vaccination rates are beginning to rise across the state. The latest data shows 60% of Ohioans 18 and over have received at least one dose. The biggest message, though, from Dr. Vanderhoff is the reminder that Delta is far more contagious and far more dangerous than variations we've seen before. And I checked in with our local uh, children's hospitals, and they are seeing a few more cases. But right now, RSV is is happening. They're getting a lot of kids with cases that's trending across the country. And that's an illness we typically see in the winter months. Oh, geez, so yeah. we're seeing it already. It started in May and we're but already seeing the symptoms seeing that. are so similar. This, exactly. Yeah. And the de Delta is infecting kids respiratory um, far more. All so. right. What about those that are relying on natural immunity? They said, well, I've had it, so I don't need the, the, the vaccine. How long is that going to be the case? Yeah, there are a lot of people who are doing that, but we are seeing a rise in double infections of those who had COVID last year, didn't get vaccinated, and then got infected with Delta. The CDC just released a report about a study out of Canada showing those relying on natural immunity were nearly twice as likely to get Delta. Mm. This is not the common cold. This is not the flu. It can cause severe inflammation of your organs, lead to long-term damage or long-term symptoms. And of course, all three vaccines are effective against Delta. Mm. I've heard so many people saying, oh, well, you know, it's only the older people who get really sick and this and this. I don't think people really want to take a gamble with it. It's just too much of a risk. There's a solution. Can we just get, you know, yeah. get back to normal? And that's what everybody kept thinking we were going to do. And then right. Delta showed up. Yeah. Well, so the good news is, as you said, we're seeing more vaccines, mm -hmm. yes. more vaccinations. That's what we need. Yeah. To get there. All right. Monica, thanks. Sure.